everyone, hope you're all having a great day today. It's Melissa in Minnesota. Thank you so much for coming back and watching my channel. Uh, to anyone new, hello and welcome to you as well. So today's video is going to be a food haul. I am now linking a lot of these products and things like that to my blog. There you'll find a complete list of everything that you need to know as far as beauty, food, and lifestyle. And I beauty part is pretty much done. Uh, these are items that will continue to be updated. The beauty items you can see that as category. I also have it listed in brands so you guys can see the brands that I really trust, love, and use. But as far as going forward into the new year, I'm going to start doing that I think with food. But I wanted you guys to be able to see, okay, what do I use for baking items? And be able to print off a list and take it to the grocery store and find these items or shopping Lucky Vitamin or Vitacost or Thrive Market. You guys can check off a list and see what items I'm using and things that I recommend and have that at your fingertips and it just makes it a little easier. I know that this is a list, things that I wish that I had that someone had done that was 100% gluten free. Well, that was very confusing with me a lot when I started and I just want to make this platform, my channel, all my social media sites easier for you guys if you're on this new form of lifestyle. I'm not a doctor, I can't give you guys uh, medical information, but you can look and see my lifestyle, how I'm living it, um, and like I said, I'm 100% gluten free. I have highly sensitivity to cross contamination or things that may be gluten. So the information I'm sharing with you guys are all the food items that I have for this month. and. Um, because I do have to live a 100% gluten-free lifestyle, nothing comes into my house that has gluten in it. So let's go ahead and get started with the products that I picked up. These have come from Vitacost Lucky Vitamin, my local Target. These are items that I picked up. This is a Vitacost brand, so you can only find this on Vitacost, but this is a certified organic cacao powder. And not a cocoa, it is cacao. Cocoa is once the beans are processed. Cacao is before it's even processed, so there's been no heating of the product. Uh, there is a difference, but uh, I did have two of these. I use this for baking if I want to make a chocolate banana bread or chocolate frosting. I make homemade uh, cocoa and so yeah I'll use powdered sugar and cacao powder a little bit of salt and, yeah those are the only three ingredients and then my kids or my husband can add mini marshmallows so this is 100% certified cacao powder char these are the gluten-free entertainment crackers I love the glutino ones and I have a couple boxes and I've already actually gotten into these um, this is the brand that I have in buying I love glutino brand they are a excellent, excellent quality gluten-free product and cracker. Really like these. They're um, not as sweet if you remember Ritz, um, if you <laughs> gluten days. It's been a very long time since I've had Ritz, so I'm trying to remember, but they were like a buttery cracker. These are great. They are crispy like that, but they don't have that buttery sweetness to it. But these are very much like it. The only thing that I don't care for this is these come in a bag, so I know that through shipping, these have gotten crushed. So, uh, they are gluten and wheat free, and they are non-GMO. Now, the glutino, I'll go back to these. These come, there are two separate bags that are in a box. I love that they come in two individual packages. They stay fresh. Once you open them, I have Teen Boys, so sometimes things don't get always sealed. These are, uh, Glutino is a certified gluten-free brand. These are excellent, excellent chocolate brownies. Now, I do love the Enjoy Life, but these are very much like your gluten brownies. Let's just say that. The Enjoy Life brownies, they have Teflour and they have probiotics in them or prebiotics, but they have more of a grainier texture. This is much smoother, much more chocolatey. And a little tip that I have, my, my kids call it frosting, but the last five minutes of baking, I will actually take out the pan. I will put Enjoy Life chocolate chips on this. Let those melt a little bit. Um, the last five minutes of cooking, when they come out, I'll take a spoon and spread that out. Absolutely love that. It's almost like a candy bar type of quality. But uh, this you have to add in eggs. If you um, can't do eggs, then you can definitely use an egg alternative. And it also calls for uh, butter. Uh, again, you can use a non-dairy type of butter, which I do. And then it does call for nuts, but I never put nuts in the great chocolate taste. High quality uh, brand and definitely a good brownie. 
ended up getting four boxes of those. Uh, the Enjoy Life brand, like I mentioned, this is a certified allergy-friendly product. Uh, these are fluffy pancakes and waffles. I have never made the waffles from this. Love the pancakes. I love that they have uh, the ancient grains, uh, which is, uh, I believe, like the teff flour, and they do have probiotics for immune health. They're just amazing. They are wheat, peanut, tree nut, dairy, casein, soy, egg, sesame, sulfites, lupin, mustard, fish, shellfish, and crustacean free. So like I said, allergy friendly. They're not going to have any issue uh, if you're looking for a product like that. Now this, all you add is oil and water. So two ingredients, very simple. I really, really recommend that. Another Glutino product, they're certified gluten-free, same with the Enjoy Life, but I want to try the Fluffy Pancakes. I We may or may not have tried this, I wasn't sure, but I want to try, since I love the Glutino brand, I want to try and see how these pancakes are. So, decided to pick those up and experiment a little. I picked up two boxes of the Enjoy Life Chewy Bars. I love these as a, with a cup of tea or something like that for a sweet treat at night. Uh, they are, again, allergy friendly. These are the Coco Loco. They are brownie texture. Really enjoy these. I've already gotten into these. Could not wait. Okay, Enjoy Life and Glutino. That seems to be, except for the Char product, it seems to be where this food haul is going. Uh, this is the gluten free yogurt covered pretzels. My son loves these pretzels. He also likes the chocolate ones and the regular ones and I will buy those in a large bag and I can actually find those at a health food store here in my local area. These uh, are very hard to find. Um, either the store doesn't stock them or they're sold out. I have a very hard time finding uh, gluten-free products and a couple of my stores that I was buying gluten-free products now put their gluten-free items in with the rest of them and I don't want to do that cross-contamination uh, just it does not work for me does not work for our household so yeah those stores I've ended up having to stop shopping at but one of my local co-ops here does sell them and they keep things separate oh my gosh that just makes a world difference to me so uh, I mentioned the chocolate chips and I have these the uh, Enjoy Life Mega Chunks. I don't like putting these in breads because the chunks are really hard to slice once the bread cools. Uh, these would work really well as far as putting on top of the brownies and melting. And these are great just for snacks, putting in trail mix. Love, love, love that. The Enjoy Life does make a trail mix mix <laughs> and I will end up putting chocolate chips in that I believe they have like a tropical one and then there's a mambo something that has like apples in it and uh, it's like seeds seeds no nuts I think is what it's called really like that and that's just amazing I've actually put that in a bread recipe before and it's turned out really great so uh, maybe I'll have to put that recipe up. And it's not a recipe I found. I tweak recipes. I, I'm a southern girl, so that's kind of, I don't, that's the reason I, I've kind of gotten away from posting recipes because I'm not one of those that does actual measurements. I just throw stuff in and see how things go. And it's kind of funny because my banana bread recipe, even though I try to follow a recipe, never comes out the same way twice. Uh, I like to kind of tweak it and add different things, whether it's chocolate chips or blueberries or, like I said, with the trail mix. I've done that before. Before, but I ended up picking up four bags of the uh, Enjoy Life semi-sweet chocolate chunks. So. I'm gonna get the spices out of the way before I hit you with the honey, honey. <laughs> A little southern coming out, you know. Uh, this Annie's roasted red pepper. I do use this as a salad dressing. I picked up two, but this is one of my favorite things since I've gone gluten free to use on a, uh, I call it crock pot chicken. Two pound, three pound chicken. I'll put half of this into the crock pot and cook. I'll serve it with either uh, rice and vegetables or potatoes, but we love that dressing. So I use it as a marinade. Makes a wonderful meatloaf. So like two pounds, I will add like, um, I don't even know. See, here we go with the Southern thing. But a little bit, let's say, uh, that's probably what, a quarter cup, maybe a half cup into your ground beef. Or if you're not into meat, use it in whatever you're using. But um, I've done white bean burgers and black bean burgers before, and this has worked really well for that. For our, you know, We don't do Meatless Monday, but we try to do one meatless meal a week. And so that works really well as a flavoring. Really great. And dipping fries in. I love this for my fries as well. If you've been watching for a while, you know I also am uh, dairy intolerant. I don't do cheeses, no sour cream, anything like that. So this is really great for those alternatives. I love this on a baked potato going to that. There's so many options. 
I picked up some cinnamon and uh, actually I picked up two. Uh, Vitacost was having a sale and I love the Simply Organics. I've been using this uh, spice now since probably 2014. I put cinnamon almost everything. Um, I use uh, So Delicious uh, yogurt and then canned peaches or pears. I love the sprinkled on that and cinnamon is really good for your body so uh, definitely check that out and see how all the benefits. Uh, let's see what else do I have? One other spice, this is Frontier Co-op is connected to Simply Organics and I picked up, I don't always have lemons or if I go to the store, especially now that it's winter here, the lemons just don't look as great. So I picked up the lemon peel and this is by uh, Frontier Co-op. This is organic lemon peel, bright zesty flavor, no GMOs and uh, so yeah, I'm going to try this out. I have... Now, you guys are going to see where my addiction lies. Honey. <clears throat> is one of my uh, downfalls. I love honey like some people like wine. I can tell a difference in flavors, uh, what flowers it's been used, you know, the bees to make the honey. People talk about putting it in masks used for healing wounds and just uh, antibacterial properties and great for acne. I picked up the certified, this is just an economical product, by Vitacost, a certified organic, this is wildflower honey. I like buy this, like I said, it's more economical for putting in um, different recipes that I need a lot of honey in, like making granola or making bread or topical reasons. Now, I will pay a lot more money for a really great honey, and I'm testing out this brand. You guys know I love YS Echo Bee Farm honey. I buy that in a two pound jar because I love it so much. Now, it's going to be that type of honey is not going to be loose like that. So this is another reason this is much better for recipes, baking. I don't have to put this on the stove, modify it, and heat it up before I actually put it into a recipe. But the YS Echo Bee Farms honey is going to be very firm, very solid. I picked up, I have not tried this one, this is the Cinna Honey, a cinnamon kick, you guys are figuring that out. I picked up one of these. Normally I like their regular honey and I will buy their orange honey. Now this will be more of a uh, looser honey as well. But the honey that I buy in the two pound jar is the raw honey and it is going to be thick. It's one of those where you have to scoop it out. It's not going to pour out of the jar. I have tried this before. This comes in a glass jar. I love glass jars because I can reuse them for other things. This is clover honey. This is by... Um, Harmony Farms. This is a looser honey as well. I like using this for if I want to do topical. But like I said, when I put a lot more money into it or I'm trying different flavors like wine, I don't want to, I don't want to say waste them, but I want to be conservative with them. <laughs> so this honey was a little more expensive. This is the Be Pure Honey. I've already used one of these, um, the Mountain Honey. I ended up getting two of these, but this is I mean, you could just tell, look at the color of that. And maybe if I shine it a little bit, yeah, you can see the goldness of this honey. Now, this is a little bit thicker. It has, look at the red versus the golden. I mean, it, this is the tropical wildflower honey. So where the bees process the pollen from and take it back to the hives, you see the differences in the honey. This is like wine, like red wine. You can tell, a lot of people can tell and they can tell where the you know, grapes were processed and things like that. I have not tried these, but that's the way I find with the Echo Bee Farm honey and I bought honey from Hawaii. Um, you guys can search Vitacost videos or food haul videos and see those two, they came in small little jars and they were pretty expensive, but testing them out, knowing the flavor. Up a cream honey from the same, this is the pure or the Bee Pure honey. Can't wait to try this. This is definitely a firmer honey. Uh, it's going to be thick. I just want to open this and if I can. <laughs> I bought, uh, I think it's the Welsh Candle Company. They make it from beeswax. It smells, it does smell like this. They don't use any essential oils or anything. It just smells like honey. Their candles are amazing. I have done a little bit of shopping, not a lot. I, if you guys have watched me, you know that I am on a 
low buy. I started out as a no buy, but I'm like, I can't do this. I have to buy food for my family and there are just products that I have to buy. So I figure I can't just not buy things. I have to buy some things that I'm showing you guys. But uh, going back to the last product that I have in this, I believe this, yes, last product I have in this haul, Look how dark this is. This is more on the red, but this is Orange Blossom Monofloral Honey. And I'm gonna open this up because it's just smelling the differences. Now this smells like molasses. And there is, oh my gosh, there is a floral scent to this. Oh, heavenly. Can't wait to try these in my teas. I usually drink chamomile tea, which is a very mild tea, so it does not distort the flavor of the honey. And so, yeah, that is it for this haul for the food version. Stay tuned. I do have a beauty and a lifestyle haul coming up. Uh, these items, like I said, you can look down below if you go to beauty or lifestyle or food, whatever category the video is pertaining to, you will see where I, uh, the items that I found, where I shop for them, and hopefully you guys will like that format a little better than just linking things down below. It's just kind of hard to search different videos and go back, but there may be something else that you were looking for and you didn't know or were interested in trying, but that will be on a list and you guys can see that. And the blog will be a little easier to help you find the products that are pertinent to your lifestyle. So enjoy your day. Have a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.